I know that more than 50,000 students took advantage of uh, this opt-in period that uh, ended last Friday. Now, we're, they're expected to be back in school buildings uh, beginning in two weeks. That's April 26. Now, the mayor today explaining all of this and what it will look like for middle and high school students. Uh, they'll continue to stay six feet apart because there is room to do that in those buildings. In elementary schools, officials will be following the latest guidance for for the CDC of three feet of distance between students. Now, while the goal is to get all students back in person five days a week, those who are already in person will continue with their existing schedules and the new students will be uh, worked into available schedules. Now, the mayor today saying schools are the safest place to be in New York City, but parents are still apprehensive. Honestly, I don't right now. I mean, everything is still fresh. And at this moment, it's like, you know, you don't really know. You know what I mean? It's like we're in the middle of an experiment. You know what I mean? I'd rather just keep my home kids home for right now so things, better results come back. All right, Arnold, well, this is big news. What about the number of students that are still remote despite these developments? What do we know about them? Yeah, Kurt, we know that there are still hundreds of thousands of students in the city who uh, still are only fully remote. They have no in-person learning. The mayor believes that more people, more students didn't take advantage of the latest opt-in period because maybe they're comfortable and have gotten used to uh, being at home. Uh, but he does expect there to be a lot more students signing up beginning next year. That's the latest here in Soundview. Arnold Davick, News 12.